All right, I'll try and uh, give you guys what few little tips I learned about the DX6. Okay. To get into programming, you want to push both these orange buttons at the bottom here up at the same time. And now you're into programming. CCPM. Uh, this button increases or decreases. This button scrolls through the menus and pushing the button down uh, changes the functions. When I demonstrate, I'm go elevator reverse, elevator expo, elevator sub trim. Um, for example, this is PL pitch curve normal. So what we want to do here, if we push this button up, we're going to go to the, it's going to take us right into stunt mode. This radio only has three positions. Not like the uh, newer radios of day that have five positions. So you only have low, mid, and high stick. So we're in low pitch now to go to mid pitch we're going to push this button down and it takes us to mid 50 percent push this button down one more time that takes us to high 100 percent pitch push this button up to go into stunt mode pitch curves push this button up one more time takes us into pitch for the throttle hold push it up one more time now we're in um, throttle curves for normal mode to increase or decrease that we use this button here okay hope that helps somebody out trying to program one of these I don't see any um, swash mix or swash FR I guess because it doesn't have a hover pitch so you won't be able to um, tune your pitch uh, hover pitch to make your helicopter maybe uh, land a little softer you don't have the uh, swash mix so you won't be able to uh, increase or decrease your aileron and elevator pitch as well as your pitch. Um, I wouldn't advise anybody to buy this transmitter but if it's cheap and you got no other choice. Another thing I don't see on here is uh, the gyro gain settings. If anybody has any uh, experience with this radio tell me what do they use. Maybe I guess they use the gear channel for the gyro gain R in U CP2 or it might be the CP2 setting for the gyro gain thanks for watching